Hello everyone, this will be a quick video on how I set up my Worm 2019. It is my current main 3x3. I use the one that I have on the left here. Here is a new worm and to do to set this up you'll need silk and white 5. Let's get started. The first step will be to wipe out the cube and clean, clean it out. To do this you'll simply just Take a cloth and wipe down all the pieces. Make sure you get the lube off the tracks and the pieces as well. I've already cleaned this cube out to save time in this video, but do, do not skip over this step as it's the most important. In this next step, you'll be dealing with the center cap and the screws. So you want to adjust the spring compression, so it's at setting 5. To do that, you'll just take the tool or use your fingernail and turn the, the blue cup inside five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And just make sure you do that for all six sides. Now that you've done that, it is I don't usually add core lube, but if you really wanted to, you could put core lube just by putting the syringe right next to the screw and dispensing lube in there. I'd use weight 5 for this and after you do that you just turn the layer a bit to spread around the lube. Once you've dealt with all the spring compressions you're done with the center caps and you can put them back on the cube. In this next step you'll be adding weight 5. So how I like to do this is I take apart one edge and take my weight 5. I usually put a line on on the side of the piece here some here few lines on the track that should be good and then rotate a line here line here and a few lines on the other side of the track Now I usually do about two pieces, but to make sure I don't over lube it, I, I do it one piece at a time. And then now I'm just going to put it back in the cube and break in. Like that. Adding in the weight 5 should add some crisp, crisp feel to it, so and it should also add some control. That's what I like. You're going to do about, I'd say, 3 to 5 break installs, and I think you'll be ready to move on. And, of course, you can always add more than just one piece. So... If you feel like that's not enough, you can take out another piece and do the same. But instead, I only only add one line here and then like two lines on the track. That way you don't over lube the cube and you can keep adding more lube if that's still not enough. Okay, after you've done, you finished breaking it in the weight five, you're ready to add some more silk, or you're ready to add in silk. I ended up adding more weight 5 onto one edge piece, one line on a track, and I find that is good enough for now. So next step will be adding silk. And to do this, you'll just drop about two drops into this gap here. Two to four drops should work. So that's one. That's two. Now, I'd go two drops at a time just to make sure you don't over lube the cube. And after each two drops, you would break it in just by doing random turns. Adding in the silk would just add more control to the cube, which is also what I like. And then I find it also helps with the crispiness of the cube. Mm -hmm. 
and you're just going to break it in. Okay, it is worth noting that Traxxas 50k also does a similar job to weight 5. So if you use that instead of weight 5, it should also turn out great. Now, the last thing that I didn't do to this cube, which I did to my main, is add in extra magnets. So I take apart an edge piece here. You can see there's extra magnets added to the inside. And that just adds more crispiness to it, which is my preferred feel. After about, after doing that process and doing about maybe an AO25, your cubes should start to feel better. And that's basically how I go about setting up my worm. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.